Hey everyone, Britt here, and I wanted to show you guys just my fountain pen collection. Um, I do want to send out a disclaimer that I am in no way a professional. I just enjoy writing with my fountain pens and collecting them. So here's a look into my collection. I'd like to start off with the fountain pens I purchased from Goulet Pens. And as I go through and show you my fountain pens, I will also do a writing demonstration and just talk a little bit about the pen and what I do like about it or don't like as much about it. I want to start off with the Noodlers Nib Creeper Flex fountain pen and I have two of those. I have one in a pink um, what they call the panther pink and I also have one in the demonstrator Hudson Bay Fathom Blue. Uh, let's do a close up. And these pens, as I said, I purchased from Goulet Pens. Um, <clears throat> they are like a flex nib, which I will demonstrate right now. Demonstrate with the blue. And it is a twist top. Let's see if I can brighten this just a tad. It is a twist top. And let's see. When you cap it, it is like a, I would guess like a standard size pen. Um, let me compare it to a Le Pen pen. Well, I guess it's a little bit shorter than the Le Pen pen, as you can see here. But when it's capped, and you just push it on the top, push it in so it can stay capped. And let's see. As I push down, the nib here will flex. So it will release more ink as I push down. Now, for some reason, I probably should have, oh, there we go, pushed a little bit too much, but. Now, as I write with this pen, I would say it's not as <clears throat> smooth writing. I am writing on like a special paper, this notebook I purchased from the Foxy Fix, and they have really good paper. It's really smooth, and with some of my fountain pens, it writes um, in comparison. This one is not as smooth as the writing as some of the others. So we'll get into which ones have a nice smooth feel when writing on the paper. But this again is the Noodler's Nib Creeper Flex Fountain Pen in the Hudson Bay Fathom Blue. I'm actually using the Noodler's Ink and the so, 
in the Operation Overlord Orange. <clears throat> and the pink pen writes the same. It's like a, I would say, these pens are kind of like a, it's not a medium size, I would say that they're, it's more of a fine right okay so let's move on next I have my Kaweco Skyline Sport fountain pen in mint and this pen um, I purchased from Goulet pens It did not come with the clip you have to buy the clip separately and I bought the silver clip um, just it's just a nice touch to the pen it pretty much completes the pen to me so this pen is very small if I want to compare it it's a very small pen and I got it in the fine. It is a twist to open pen. And, but when you cap it, it fits really nice and snug in your hand. So let's write this one. This is a fine. And I have the purple. Um, Now this pen, when I'm comparing it to the previous pen, the Noodler's Nib Creeper, it is a lot smoother when writing. It doesn't scratch on the paper um, like the Noodler's Nib Creeper. Okay, moving on, let's go into the Monteverdi Artista Crystal Fountain Pen in the Turquoise. This one is a very heavy pen. Now, if I want to compare it to the Kaweco, the Kaweco, you could tell, is made of plastic and it's very lightweight. And actually, when I first opened the box for this Kaweco pen, I was shocked because I thought, I didn't think it was made out of plastic. I thought, um, I don't know, I just thought it wasn't going to be as light as it actually is. This one is a lot lighter than this one. This one gives it that, because of the weight, it kind of gives that expensive feel. Um, I like how it is like a clear demonstrator looking type pen. This one I purchased from Goulet Pens. And it is a twist top. And I like how you can kind of tell where you are with your ink in the converter. Um, and this one is a medium nib. When I cap it, which you just push on, it is a lot, um, it's a, there's a nice weight, but it is pretty big and a little bit bulky in the hand in comparison to the Kaweco, but it writes really well. So again, the Monteverdi Artista Crystal Fountain Pen, and I purchased this from Goulet Pens. I love this pen. Okay, moving on. The, is the Ahab Flex. And this is one of my, well actually I have this one. I also have this one and, oh I forgot. 
Well, I have a couple of these, which I will get into next. So this one is a Noodler's Ahab Flex pen. Um, and this is one of the, one of my first set of fountain pens I purchased from Goulet Pens. And this is a twist top. And I think all of the Noodler pens have a twist top. Uh, don't quote me on that statement, but I'm, it seems like out of all my Noodler's pens, they all have twist tops. Um, and this pen, when I compare it to the Monteverde, Monteverde is heavier than the Ahab Flex. Um, it looks like, because it looks a little bit bulkier, it looks like it would be really heavy, but it's actually lightweight. And... So when you cap it, I would say the body is kind of, it's very bulky, um, but this is an, a flex pen. So like the first flex pen, when you apply pressure, more ink will flow, giving you broader lines. But this pen color is in the Vulcan. Vulcan's coral color. So if you want a flex pen that will fit in your hand, you like those thicker pens, I would suggest this pen. It's not as expensive as the Monteverdi Atista. Um, it's lightweight as well, so it's not gonna, if you do write a lot, I don't think your hand will get as tired as it may with a heavier pen. And I have a, this is, I have a converter in here. Um, I think this is a piston converter where you push down and you pull it up to suck up the ink. And so that is that one. And let's go to my final fountain pen from Ghoulie Pens. This is actually, I think, I didn't purchase this pen actually. This pen came with um, it was like a deal and you can get it a free pen when you buy an ink at Google Pens and they have this sale every so often. So this is the Noodler's pen. I'm not really sure the exact name, but you could tell it has Noodler's ink on a pen. And the cool thing about this one is that all you do, you fill the barrel with ink. And so I think I've had this pen for almost a year now. A year in November or December and I've only refilled this once so and this is a fine nib and it writes actually really smoothly for being a free pen This is a nice um, and inexpensive um, pen to have as well. They have a ton of other types of pens, actually. All right, pen so the these two are also sold on Goulet Pens, but I just have not pens purchased, purchased them from Goulet Pens. Okay, moving on. Wish it would focus, and it's not. 
You can tell one is has a more 